Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is International Master Benny Chang with you today and I'm going to be commenting on a game that my friend Warren Harper is playing right now and he says this game, yes it is this game so I'm going to be commenting this game against Astrid and the opening phase of this game starts with uh, 45, this is a Ray Lopez Bishop C5 variation and I haven't done this in a while so um, this should be fun um, yeah, so unfortunately I have been very sporadic with my commentating uh, timings. And uh, okay, so here I think that takes b6 is probably a good idea, taking on this guy. So this bishop can't go back. Oh yeah, and so the reason I haven't been able to uh, commentate as often as I'd like to is because I have found a job recently and I'm going to be starting work next Monday. So I'm definitely going to be doing leaving a lesson before, I think. But uh, I'm going to still try and do as often as I can because I know that uh, this helps keep me sharp. And I definitely don't want to stop now, you know that I've done like 50 already. So uh, after b5, it takes b5, bishop takes b5. Um, so thank you to all who have been following. And I know that my viewers, I mean my view numbers or something has been very low now. Uh, that's, that's pretty much my fault because I haven't really been doing anything. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I guess I can't really say anything about that right now. And uh, in this position, I think rookie one is good just to stop d5. So if he plays d5, then he can take on d5, and then that takes e5. In this case, he can also play c4, I think. But uh, rookie one looks looks fine. Queen two is also possible, or maybe bishop b2. Bishop b2 is an interesting idea. Pretty much blocks only idea is d5 here. And let's see here, c4. So yeah, c4, and I think b5 is probably has to be played. Doesn't have to play b5, I guess, entirely, but uh, probably bishop b2 is going to be playing soon. Queen e7, um, I would say knight h5, knight f4 is coming up. Hmm. I would really want uh, this knight to get on d5 if I can. Also, knight h4 to knight f5 is also a good idea. I think uh, bishop g5 here, making knight going to h5 is good too. Because you want to just really s destroy some of these. Uh, Knights here, because these knights, while it looks to, uh, like it's not gonna do much, it could do something. Knight five here, so I think I can can I take on e five. Um, knight six e five. I guess. Well, maybe not. Maybe. I wonder if I can do knight g five here. Knight g five is, is is a possible idea here. I think knight d four. Yeah. Okay. Knight d four is is definitely a better move than the moves that I've suggested. Uh, pretty much e takes d4 is forced. Otherwise, knight f4, knight f5 is going to be very strong. So, queen, queen here. f5. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, f5. I'm not sure about f5. I think b5 is very strong here. Yeah, b5 looks looks, looks very strong here. b5, I think the bishop's trapped. Um, hmm. Yeah, b5. He takes, he takes with check, right? And uh, this king has to go somewhere else, and then you can okay keep playing. Okay, there you go. B five. There you go. That's a that's a doesn't that's a nice move. I'm glad I'm not, I'm not playing because I know that if I was playing, I would not have seen that move. Commenting and playing at the same time is very difficult, and definitely I definitely would miss a lot of the moves that I've suggested right now. I'm glad he sees he sees this though because now he's just up a piece. So I think take on c six is obviously forced. Um, and okay, b c six. Pawn takes c six. And um, I would play take on e4. Probably fine. Take on e4 is probably fine here. Um, I'll probably do f4 here in some case. c5. Okay, c5, d5, then pot takes e4. Then I'm gonna take on d5. Um, rook a3, rook a3, rook b, rook a3. Okay, so let's see how this is uh, gonna go for the rest of the game. Bishop a2. So, like, white's obviously has a huge position here. Um, it's up a piece. Let's see the pawn count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. So what's going to be up a piece and possibly not down any pawns at all. So as long as uh, Morin chooses not to drop any pieces, I think it'll be fine. Because Black doesn't really have any like moves that he can go, go for right now. He can't go green 5 because which takes d5 obviously. And oh, he just resigned. Wow, that was really fast. Okay. Um, Oh, uh, that was really fast. Really, uh, okay, that's cool. So, um, thank you for watching. Um, I think I kind of want to do another one now. Maybe I'll do another one later. But, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I guess I'll see you guys later, and, uh, bye-bye.